Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Rucker Stancer GTX gloves. Rucker's top of the line sports waterproof gloves. They're £250 a pair, but you get a penny change from that. So, Rucker used to have a glove called the Argosaurus. The Stancer is the replacement for that glove. They're made entirely from leather with one exception, which is this panel of neoprene at the back here, where the Argosaurus had a metal um, knuckle protector. This one's got plastic, and you've also got air intakes through there. So it's what they call Gore-Tex Gore -Tex grip or Gore grip. And instead of having a drop liner where water soaks through the leather and then gets caught by the membrane, what you've got with that is it's kind of the waterproof and the leather is one piece so it means you're going to get a less less soggy feel from the glove rather than having water deep inside it it means that it's going to dry off nice and early on the rest of the back of the hand we've got protection from a finger bridge here which connects the third and the fourth fingers that's a good deep one some other gloves are quite shallow whereas there's a good connection there to stop the little finger flailing around if the worst happens You've got accordion stretch panels at the, in front of the knuckles on the first two fingers, which are the busiest two for clutch control and using the brake, so that gives you a bit of extra flexibility. And in, in front of that accordion stretch panel are also two sections of light reflective kind of scotch light material, which are joined by an extra three or four stripes of it around the outside of the little finger there. And then there's a big section of it here and also around the sort of the wrist uh, restraint area you've got more light reflectors. One of the other big changes on this glove compared to the Argosaurus that went before it is they've ditched the kind of hard thumb mounted visor wiper blade that they had on the other one. It wasn't all that popular it wasn't terribly great to be honest this is this one is a more conventional length of rubber strip which I've used in the rain and is much more effective I think they probably should have done that on the Argosaurus it's good to see that that's that's on the stancer. One of the last main safety benefits is that you've got this extra layer of leather around the outside. If things go really badly wrong, this section of the hand is one of the first that makes contact with the road. So having an extra layer of leather stitched around there just gives you extra protection in case that happens. So I move into the, to the palm section. It's largely externally stitched around the fingers. What that means is you don't get the seams bunching up around your fingers. The one exception is the most vulnerable seam, which is the one along the index finger. So that is internally stitched. Having the thread on the inside means it's less vulnerable to contact with the road where it can wear through. You've got the silicon kind of grippy rubberized feel section there. So that will stop the gloves wearing through and wearing thin. The final thing I should point out about the palm on these gloves is that the fingertips are touchscreen compatible. So if you need to use your phone while you're stopped, then you don't have to take your gloves off to be able to use it, which is quite a handy function. The restraint is a fairly traditional restraint, really. There's, there's no need to reinvent the wheel on that. I'll just pop them on. A simple strap there to keep it secure on at the wrist. The idea being that that stops it sliding past the bony part of the hand there. And then a fastener here to keep the cuff itself nice and tight. So the big thing about these is always gonna be the price, 250 quid for a pair of Gore-Tex sports gloves. Admittedly, it's a lot of money, and if you can't stretch to it, there are alternatives that would be just as effective, but there's something about this that's just got a really nice feel about it. I've used them for about 400 miles so far, had them in absolute tanking rain, and they've kept me dry. I think that covers everything we need to talk about with the Rucker Stancer Gore-Tex, but if there's anything you feel we've missed, please pop a question in the comments section below and we'll get back to you on that as soon as possible. But if not, thanks very much for watching.